Well, no trailer today. We got a good job to go do. Alright guys and gals, this is the job that presented itself to me last or yeah, last week. Um, this was this is actually a first uh, for me. I was asked if I could fly. I don't fly very much. They asked if I could fly down to that uh, into Dallas Fort Worth, uh, Texas, and go over to the Ritchie Brothers auction and pick up this pickup truck that uh, they bought for the construction company. Um, they wanted me to drive it back. You know, while we're here, we're gonna do a couple things with the truck. Uh, check engine lights on, I imagine it's probably low. You know, I checked the fluids and it does need some antifreeze. I imagine that's what it's low on and that's why it's on. Uh, we are gonna check that out. Uh, we are also going to do an oil change on the truck. Uh, we're going to drive this truck back up to Cincinnati. That's where I departed from this morning and, uh, just be along for the journey while we're here. We're going to have us a steak. You can't come to Texas without having a steak dinner. So, uh, we're going to get the oil changed in this thing after we get out of Ritchie brothers here, kind of in a line, just waiting to get checked out with the truck and stuff. So, uh, as soon as we're done with that. We're going to go get the oil changed and uh, grab something to eat, and uh, I might uh, I might head on back today. Just depends on what this uh, check engine light is before we leave uh, around Fort Worth. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is an awesome opportunity. Uh, you know, it's something that I've always thought about doing. Uh, you know, if the, uh, if the opportunity presented itself, uh, that I was going to do it. So... Five years in, it finally did it, uh, and I'm I'm happy. You know, this is a this is a quick trip down here. Um, glad that they uh, trust me good enough. You know, and that says a lot. Uh, they sent me down here. Basically, they know I'm going to take care of the vehicle. They want me to drive the vehicle back rather than just tow it back. Um, so, yeah, be a nice uh, nice uh, adventure, nice trip for the week. So. Uh, very happy for it, like I said, so let's get checked out of here and go, uh, go get the oil changed. All right. I am in Arkansas right now. We're going to talk a little bit about this truck. So the truck that they bought, it does need an oil change still. We're going to go over to Walmart here this morning, get it done. Um, there's a sticker on the windshield that uh, stated, you know, still had a few hundred miles to go. So we went ahead and used that few hundred miles and got up here. I stayed at the Holiday Inn Express and Suites. And we'll talk about that here in a minute too. Um, anyway, this truck, it's a 2013 pickup truck. Uh, the truck runs well, tires are good, brakes are fine, suspension's fine. Everything feels really good going up and down the road. It does need a tune-up. Uh, kind of spits and sputters a little bit. And they will address that when I get the truck back up there. Uh, the only thing bad in the interior that I saw on this truck, and I'm sure you guys have probably noticed it, was the steering wheel. Um, right here. 
that's part of the steering wheel. You know, that's where that's where somebody's had their hand at, and you know, it's got 120,000 miles on it. Um, the steering wheel's really wore out. The interior of this truck, there's no rips that I've seen. Uh, the AC works wonderful. I mean, for what they've given for this truck, I don't think it's a bad deal. Um, this will make somebody a nice ride. Uh, they they cleaned the truck up there, you know, for the auction, churched it up, made her look pretty. So, yeah. Truck's in uh, really good condition. So this will last a while. Now, I'm going to grab... Uh, something out of here for holiday in, in the express here so this is the bill of the room number that i stayed in at the holiday in express I stayed in room number 300 let's see here i want to make sure Uh, where are we even at? Okay. Well, anyway, to stay here at the Holiday Inn Express, drum roll, drum roll. Was one hundred sixty-one dollars and fifty-one cents. Room started out at $139.99. Now, at a Holiday Inn Express, it's an express. This room shouldn't have been any more than 100 bucks after taxes. The whole nine yards shouldn't have been any more than like, I don't know, maybe 110 at At the most, 110 bucks. At the most. So I don't know what the heck's going on here in uh, AR, Kansas, but this is the second one I've stayed in here. Uh, the first one, it's been a few years ago and it was pretty pricey. So I figured it was just something simple. Now I'm right on the highway here, you know, it's not in anything fancy, but there are other hotels here that were full last night, and I thought, well, okay, you know, whatever. So I come over here. I mean, there's a Hampton Inn across the street, a Days Inn across the street. Go down the road, there's a Motel 6. Uh, looks like a Economy Lodge down the road there by the Ho-Ho restaurant. Um, Diamond Inn. I mean, there's just, you know, there's quite a few hotels here. And their parking lots were full last night. Holiday Inn Express wasn't all that full. So I rolled on in against my better judgment. The room was fine, but I tell you what, it wasn't $160 fine. I mean, the pool was closed. They should have docked for that. I showed up in here a little late. They should have docked for that. So, I'm going to say, if you come to Arkansas and want to stay at a hotel, stay away from the Holiday Inn Express. Way too expensive for what you get. Way, way too expensive. I, we rented, I just talked to the woman. We rented a cabin in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And it was cheaper than that per night. In a cabin on a creek with a hot tub and love music a hell of a lot cheaper so I don't know anyway heck with a uh, heck with Holiday Inn Express here in AR Kansas so EcoBoost truck truck run great uh, like I said it does have a stutter because it needs a tune up uh, that was the check engine light. It had a number five misfire uh, that's happening. It does need a tune-up. 
it was a little low on antifreeze. I bought a bought a uh, uh, gallon of antifreeze. We we put uh, a little bit of antifreeze in it, brought it back up. We're gonna go get the oil change now over at the Walmart, and uh, then we'll get on the road. So let's get to it. Well, she's getting the oil changed. Just about buttoned up. Be good to go. All right, they just done the oil change. It was $42.11. Got the high mileage. It's what we opted for. Topped off all fluids, all that good stuff. Air pressure in the tires and everything. So, yeah. Today's starting to look up. All right, boys. Let's go get this thing topped off with fuel and get on the road. camera's gonna be a little shaky here kind of got into some new asphalt it's kind of bumpy anywho uh just crossed into uh kentucky out of uh tennessee uh nashville traffic wasn't horrible got through there in time before rush hour really started picking up it's actually uh it's only well i guess it's only 2 15. Uh, so yeah not too uh not too horrible we'll get up through here um get this truck dropped off today i don't have to stay in a hotel again so about three and a half hours away from dropping the truck off get my truck head on um i've got a load for tomorrow already only thing i got to do tomorrow is just pick it up it's a load of lumber uh 6800 pounds worth so we get it picked up, and I think uh, I think Friday I'll uh, I'll deliver everything. But I think Friday we're gonna pick up some steel plates, maybe depending on the weights, uh, to send with that lumber uh, for two drops. We've got uh, two separate drops to do if I can take the plates. Um, don't quite know the. Uh, uh, the weight on those yet but as soon as I get those we'll know and Friday we'll pick those up and take them over to Pennsylvania drop them two places in Pennsylvania and call it a weekend so yep let's get the truck delivered and uh, get home We got the truck here, dropped it off. My truck's running. This job's done. So it's daylight. It's time for me to go home. Still got a two hour drive back to the house. So that's what's going to happen. And right there's my old girl. Jump in her and ride on back in the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> 